Have you vomited before for something that you ate? Well, chances are the food you ate was spoiled. Hi, my name's Fiona, and for this video, we're going to talk about food spoilage. Food spoilage may be defined as a process or change which renders a product undesirable or unacceptable for consumption. It is a disagreeable change or departure from the food's normal state. Such a change can be detected with the senses of smell, taste, touch, or vision. Food spoilage and deterioration is no accident. It is a naturally occurring process. And to understand how to maintain the quality of food and prevent spoilage, we need to know what can cause it. So why does food spoil? Factors that can cause food to spoil include microbial, chemical, and physical reactions which can affect the taste, smell, and appearance of a product. But for this video, we're only going to focus on the chemical factors. Chemical reactions in food are responsible for changes in the color and flavor of foods during processing and storage. And the first factor would be light. Light can cause photodegradation, which means the change in the properties of a material due to photon exposure. This cause leads to discoloration, off flavor, and vitamin loss of a product. The next factor is oxygen. Every living organism uses specialized proteins called enzymes to drive the chemical reactions in its cells. Enzymes are naturally present in food and are responsible for the ripening process in fruits and vegetables. Oxygen oxidizes enzymes which speeds up the chemical reactions in food, resulting in foul odors and browning. Let's make apple as an example. PPO and polyphenols are found inside an apple cells. Cutting or biting also exposes an apple cells to air which contains oxygen. This triggers the oxidation reaction that causes enzymatic browning. When polyphenols mix with PPO and oxygen, they create a compound called orthoquinone or oquinone. Next, the individual molecules of oquinone connect together to make larger molecules. This process is called polymerization. It creates a compound called melanin, which causes the apple to look brown. And lastly is temperature. The higher the temperature gets, the faster food will deteriorate. Chemical reactions are faster at high temperatures because hotter molecules have more energy. Now that we've learned that spoiled food is a result of chemical reactions and can cause food poisoning if consumed, here are the ways to prevent that from actually happening. And that is all for our video. I hope you all have learned something and thank you so much for watching.